The Salish Sea is like a water highway with all kinds of traffic creating all kinds of noise. And because southern resident killer whales use sound to locate their food, all the boat noise makes it hard for them to hunt. Killer whales echolocate their prey using sonar to find fish and capture it, as well as communicate with each other. And any loud noise can interrupt those signals. And what we're finding is that uh, Harrow Strait and the Salish Sea is, is noisy enough that whales are losing 62% of their opportunities to communicate over the background noise on a typical day and on a really busy day they can actually lose up to 97% of their opportunities to communicate over meaningful ranges. Rob Williams founded Oceans Initiative and he's been studying the southern resident killer whale since 2003. He says there's no easy fix. The problem started decades ago when captures for theme parks removed whales that could have reproduced and hurt the whale's social dynamics. But since the captures stopped decades ago, the whales still aren't recovering the way they should. Williams and other experts say that's because of polluted water, a lack of prey, and boat noise. Williams says when boats are around, the whales can lose at least a quarter of their hunting opportunity. But we must not lose sight of the, the, the bigger picture, which is that um, noise can only buy us and buy the whales some time while we recover Chinook salmon stocks. Williams says that scientists estimate the whales need about a 30% increase in Chinook salmon, numbers that haven't been seen since the 19th. We've seen a lot of political will over the last few years to protect this population, but we've also seen a lot of finger pointing. It's the salmon, it's this one dam, it's this one industry or this one uh, source of noise. And in fact, what our science is showing is that it's all of it. And in fact, we cannot get to the recovery target without mitigating all the threats all at once. One goal for recovery is helping the orcas birth at least one new calf each year for the next 10 years. But those calves also have to survive, and the majority recently have died. These whales are resilient, and they're clever, and if you give them a fighting chance, they can recover. But we don't have a minute to waste. Hi, I'm King 5 environmental reporter Allison Morrow. Check out our Saving the Orcas playlist for more videos like this one. Make sure to subscribe to the King 5 channel to get alerts when there's a new video published. What topic do you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.